Another day of practice up on the St. Lawrence River. We're going to go out there and try to wreck some more fish today. See what happens coming up. Bass Live. They're fishing the elites. Uh, the elite event on St. Lawrence here. I wasn't able to get a whole lot of footage, so I kind of hodgepodge the, a couple of the last days of practice here for you guys. Um, and my audio was terrible. I actually lost audio uh, when I fished with a buddy of mine, Tom. And then uh, it was just a, a mess. You awake, buddy? Right. Yep, I'm good. You all right? I'm good. You going fishing today? I think so, yeah. All right, so that was Charles. He's actually a photographer for FLW, so all those action shots on the water. Uh, those are all his pictures, so it's pretty cool. Matt. I'm trying to think, I gotta redo that. Alright, so anyways, uh, we'll just wait for a little coffee here. It's pretty, bl it's blowing out there. Uh, we're all kind of wondering what to do this morning. This last full day of practice. Uh, we'll be able to get out there a little bit tomorrow. Uh, tournament starts Thursday, so... Are we prepared? Uh, oh no. Those are quiet, but they were, uh, you know what? They're working on their stuff. I may run back to that gainer and buy that card. Got the maps out. So we're waiting, uh, I'm waiting on my buddy Matt from uh, Bass Talk Live. He was doing the Elite Series event coverage. And decided he wants to come up here and do some smallmouth fishing. Well, he's in for a treat. Might get wet. I don't know about catching a smallmouth today. But he'll be here shortly. Kind of show you guys what we're up against here. It's breezy. Chop out there. See the waves break. Oh, it was blowing. So Matt did show up. We hung out at the cabin for a little while debating whether or not we should go. And uh, man, I wanted to show him some epic smallmouth fishing. So of course we're going to go. Um, we did get wet. We didn't get any footage. I lost a couple good ones. We caught a few. Matt lost what may have been his personal best. It was a good one. And then it did slick off, or at least calm down a little bit at the end of the day. And I asked if he wanted to go out where the Giants live, make an epic run. And uh, he hesitated for a little bit. He really wanted to. But he had to head back up to Plattsburgh, New York, uh, and finish doing some work. And he had to run with some of the elite guys uh, and practice with them. So he headed back, and uh, it was pretty much an uh, uneventful day. Hey guys, welcome to Smallmouth Crush. It is the last day of practice for the FLW Costa on Thousand Islands Lake, Ontario here in upstate New York. We're going to be heading on the water and uh, seeing what we can find. Let's get out there. We had some raccoons show up last night and they ate our sweet corn that the lovely neighbors gave us. Who did? What do we got here? Morning. We got Tom in the house. Tom, uh, what the heck is that you're driving, man? Like a spaceship. Huh? That's a Ford Raptor, bro. Ford Raptor, awesome. So, so we're gonna hit it hard today. Uh, we're gonna go inside see what Lucas and Matt are doing. I got you a cup of coffee. Oh damn! Look at that. Yeah. All right, let's let's do this. All right, so I met Tom on the Chesapeake Bay, and uh, he's fishing this as a co-angler. He hooks up right away with a nice small mouth. That one being uh, close to five pounds there. And he proceeded to. Uh, Put a whooping on from the back of the boat. It was actually kind of a pike day. Pike Fest 2017 on the St. Lawrence River. First day I actually got into a lot of pike action, which is not necessarily a good thing. They're slimy, they smell, they cut you up, they trash your bait, they trash your carpet. Now I didn't get a lot of uh, 
good audio, unfortunately. The GoPro sometimes doesn't want to work well with my external mic, as the case here. Of course, you don't want to stick your hand in the pike's mouth, but I did. I was in a hurry. Wouldn't recommend it. Get the pliers. Don't end up like me. Don't be that guy with a bloody thumb. Moments later, Tom hooks up with a bonus. A 20 plus for the water. Large mouth, large head. What is he doing? Hanging out with the smallies? Having a party? Eating some gobies? We don't know. But he bit. That's a good fish anywhere. There's days I'd take him. Tom's just demonstrating how awesome he is when he's drop shotting in 20 feet of water for giant largemouth. Uh oh. That's right. Mr. Pike shows up again. This time Tom's dealing with him. Now, when I originally put this out there, I had to edit it down. I believe it took him 22 and a half minutes to take the hook out of this fish's mouth. I don't know. I don't know how he not broke his line. I think he struggles. Those Chesapeake Bay boys, they struggle when they get a big pike on. Just saying. Of course, I thought I had a state record. Smallmouth. Pitched it right into a spot where there should be one. Rod bends over. I set the hook, and it just digs and digs and digs. And I'm thinking, whoa, what is going on here? Why can't I catch him in a couple days? Not now. This thing's going to be huge. I was all excited. Of course, I just snagged him in his gill plate. But, you know, he didn't slime me up too bad. All right, guys, we are ready to roll. Uh, we got off the water. Tom and I had a decent day today, um, but I'm heading to the lake. So we're all getting ready here. I'm not, I'm not sure what's happening here, but. I'm working on my boat. Oh. All right, I'm heading to the meeting. I gotta wash my boat I and get some. I can't take the bolt out. Yes. Give me a hot one. Bigger or smaller? All right, that pretty much wraps up the official practice here. Big tournament starts tomorrow. We certainly put in our time, both Matt, Lucas, and myself. Fished some long, hard hours. Covered a lot of water. Hoping to run across something special. I think we did. I think we found a few areas that we can uh, rely on. I'll be checking the weather. Winds look iffy at best. So that's going to uh, it's going to be a concern. I made up my mind. I'm going to run regardless. But I just want to know how bad the damage is going to be. How long I'll have to fish. Could stay in the river. Plenty of smallmouth and look at great largemouth looking water, but that's not going to win. That's not going to do it up here. You have to run the lake if you want to compete, in my opinion. Head out to where the big ones live. And hopefully, get your five bites and get back safe. That's all you can do. Hey guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already. We're going to have some great tournament coverage. i got a lot more practice and tournament videos uh, coming up this summer as well for you guys. Please comment and like below. And wish me luck in the tournament. I'm looking forward to this one. Until next time, we'll see you guys on the water.